Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. The Daily Compliance News for September 20, 2023, The Sins of the Parents edition. And we begin with that story from the Financial Times, which reports that FTX has sued SBF's parents over misappropriated funds. Yes, the company formerly owned by Sam Bankman-Fried has now sued his parents, claiming they enriched themselves by siphoning off millions of dollars in fraudulently transferred and misappropriated funds from the crypto exchange their son founded. In a court filing late Monday, FTX debtors said the parents used their influence to funnel money from their business to their pet charitable causes. It's a pretty bad allegation. Uh, It's definitely going to impact their professional careers at Stanford and... um, I wonder if the charities are going to have to give the money back. So, sins of the parents in FTX and SBF. Next up from Reuters, BASF has asked the U.S. Supreme Court to ditch conspiracy jurisdiction. What is conspiracy jurisdiction? Well, that's jurisdiction which uh, is created even though a defendant has no contact with a forum in which they are sued but they're accused of participating in a conspiracy with other defendants which have no such contact. Normally, you wouldn't think uh, this type of defense would have any claim, but given the corrupt nature of the current Supreme Court and the judges who uh, don't seem to have any ethical standards, uh, who knows? Except from radical compliance, uh, Matt Kelly breaking news that the Securities and Exchange Commission has sanctioned real estate giant CBRE for including pre-taliation clauses in employee severance agreements. This is the second pre-taliation enforcement action we've seen from the SEC in recent weeks. So apparently um, somebody's not getting the message or under the prior Justice Department under Donald Trump, they didn't care about this. Nevertheless, it's important that compliance practitioners have visibility into these because this is exactly a low-hanging fruit that the SEC will bust companies for every time. So, uh, yet again, another pre taliation clause, even though there was no exercise of it. And our final story comes to us from the Wall Street Journal. The Justice Department is probing Elon Musk perks at Tesla going back several years. Um, Prosecutors are looking at personal benefits that may have provided to Musk since at least 2017 as part of an ongoing criminal investigation examining issues including a proposed house for... The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.